Okay, my friends, Roger once again, Mud Fossil University, and as we all know, the tragedy in Turkey and Syria was absolutely phenomenally disastrous, and it's horrifying the, the situation these people are in, but one thing that did come about from this is I now understand why that er that collapse happened. It was a collapse. It wasn't an earthquake. It was a collapse, and the reason is, underneath here, you see these brown spots? That is a different material than these stripy spots. You see how flat that is and these breaks are like little squares and red here and then all of these lines going across. But this right here ran out and flowed down the hill. It's a different substance and I found it in the mud fossils. Let me show you. Now they can very easily find out if I'm right or wrong by going down into that cavity and seeing if this is the substrate that leaked out of here because this was on a hill and the hill the water ran out of the hill and brought this stuff out with it which is called hematite and it ran out remember those blocky looking stripes all over the place that this is embedded within that material and it ran out leaving a cavity in here and it collapsed. Okay, here's what they're going to have to look at. This layer right down here, all of this brown stuff and down in here, I believe that is the substrate. It ran out, leaving a cavity under here, and it just completely collapsed. Okay, I'm going to call on ITV News, who put this out in the first place, saying what caused this huge cataclysm and this collapse and trying to make, make an understanding of it. And I'm going to ask ITV News to send someone out to check out exactly what I'm asking for. What is the material that's underneath as the substrate of this stuff that collapsed? I say it's going to be that red hematite clay that it has eroded out, left the cavity and collapsed.